Next weekend, the Wing Luke Asian Museum will celebrate the accomplishments of its youth program called Youth Can. All winter long, museum goers were treated to a special exhibit that showcased the talent of local students. And joining me today, we have Executive Director Joshua Heim and Garfield High, High School student King Lau. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. Thank you. This is a big deal. Um, Right off the bat, tell us what is Youth Can all about, Josh? Uh, Youth Can is an after school arts program at the Wing Luke Museum. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do is we teach high school students how to use art and culture to impact the community. And you guys work with them very closely. It's pretty hands on, right? You're paired up with artists, is that right? Yes. Um, what we do is we find um, artists, mentors, and community leaders. And what we do is we explore um, ideas, art, um, and culture in ways in which they get to produce exhibitions that relate specifically to um, youth issues. And to speak of how well this program works, I know recently, last year, you were honored at the White House. Mm -hmm. You got to meet First Lady Michelle Obama, um, awarded with the National Arts and Humanities Youth Program Award. What was that like, King, on that stage right there, uh, shaking your head? Oh, you gave her a hug. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I guess it was, it was definitely a moment that I don't, I'm not going to forget. <laughs> Uh, it was very great to be able to mm -hmm. go to Washington, D.C. Uh, and meet all these different youth that were uh, on the same level as us. And it was very humbling. It was very humbling. You must be so proud. You guys, your families must be so proud. Um, I know, I heard that when, you're, when you first signed up for Youth Can, I mean, you were really honest about this. Your mom brought it up. You didn't want to do it. You're like, what is this? Another extracurricular activity. What changed your mind and what surprised you about the program once you got started? I was surprised with uh, definitely the youth. Mm -hmm. the, there was a very diverse group. There were both first generation Asian Americans, but, as, but also a lot of uh, Asians that had recently immigrated to Seattle, which was very, uh, it was very interesting to see different points of view on all of the issues that we had. Uh, but I guess the most, what drew me in was definitely the art and how it wasn't all just working with, you know, drawing with a paintbrush. Mm -hmm. It was definitely, a more interesting experience because we had mixed media. We were working with bottles, and it's very abstract concept. So I, I, I was for once not really sure what what, what I was supposed to do. So it was very. It <laughs> you was learned very, a lot. It sounds yeah, like. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, tell us about the role that the adults, the artists, have. And I know there are some big names. I think a member of the Blue Scholars was involved uh, a mm -hmm. few months back. Right. Well, actually, before I came to the Wing Luke, um, Geo of Blue Scholars uh, used to manage the program, and um, this was back in our old space. And uh, what he would do with them is he would um, have the youth can produce work to be incorporated into the regular exhibitions. And what's great about um, uh, youth can now in our new space at 719 South King Street uh -huh. is that the youth have their own gallery to program. So um, our role as adults are to provide resources, guidance, but really it is, it is youth creating um, exhibitions about their own experiences and sharing that with our community. And what a fabulous yeah. place to showcase that work at the Wing Luke Museum. How many people can say that, that my work was up at the museum? Indeed. <laughs> it's a pretty big deal. In a time when people are cutting program funding for arts, you guys appear to be thriving. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, and congratulations again on that award at the White House last year. Uh, the Wing Luke Asian Museum is going all out to support its after school programs like Youth Can with a fabulous dinner and auction that's coming up Saturday, April 9th. For more information on Youth Can and the dinner and auction tickets, please go to our website, comonews.com, and click on Como4TV. Coming up next in the bottom.